Um, good afternoon to everybody. Um, my name is Katarina Chibula and um, I'm here to present uh, to present my presentation about CEO. Uh, at the beginning, I don't want to tell you who I chose. I um, want to start by one of those companies which was led by the CEO. Uh, I guess that everybody of, know, of you know um, eBay. eBay really basically speaking is an online auction uh, on the internet. Uh, it was uh, founded by Pierre Omidyar in 1995 and it provides uh, business co consumer to consumer or business to consumer. Uh, you, can, it, you can see the pages, they are pretty obvious and pretty easy to, to follow. Uh, it's an American company, of course, because we have to speak about American company. company and it is headquartered in uh, San Jose, California. Uh, I want to mention another company. It's called uh, Hewitt Packard. Uh, it's American as well, and uh, that one is much more older. Uh, it was founded on January 1939. I'm not sure if you are good in history, but at that year the Second World War began. What, in my opinion, is really interesting. Um, it was settled in California by uh, William Will Reddington Hewitt. Uh, and uh, this company provides hardware and software system, computers and uh, printers and stuff like that. They are pretty popular nowadays. Uh, I would say they are in a little trouble because of a big competitors like Apple or Samsung. And uh, But I guess they are old enough and their brand is really, really well known. So maybe they can stay on the market lo longer. Um, Yes, and uh, their products are uh, specialized for households and small, medium or medium businesses. So you, as a customer, would buy their printer for your home, not for a big business. This is what they are, they are doing. Um, and both those companies, eBay and Hewitt Packard, well, Hewitt Packard is currently leading by, and eBay was led by, that woman, Meg Whitman, CEO of Hewitt Packard, current CEO of Hewitt Packard. Uh, Meg Whitman is a uh, 60 years old lady. Uh, yeah, I just want to tell you what I'm going to do in this presentation. I'm going to provide you by her private life. Not really private life because she really takes care about what people know about her and she's not so easy with, with her private life. We know about her few things, but in my opinion, it's important to keep her private life in secret. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about her management style, about her uh, managing of uh, eBay and Hewitt Packard. Uh, she's got political ambitions as well, which is really interesting. Uh, I've got some assertions of her and what she's doing in free time, what I try to find. Uh, her private life, he was, she was born in New York. In 1945, uh, 1954. Sorry, uh, she's 60 years old. Um, she's got a really long name. I'm not sure about pronunciation of her middle name. Cushing, 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 Cushing. Really cute. Um, she studied math and science at Princeton University. She was really, really clever all the time. During her high school, she was always um, one of the best. Uh, one of the best ten in whole school, not just in her class. Uh, that's why she decided to study, um, to be a doctor. Uh, and she started to study as a doctor, and uh, she started to study math and science as well, but after spending one summer uh, by working as, um, as some, some seller, she was selling something during the summer, I forgot what, uh, she changed her mind and she started to study economics and business and she's got a diploma from MBA from Harvard Business School in 1979. Um, Whitman is married uh, to a neurosurgeon, Griffin Harsh. So she still stays in the doctor uh, with the doctors because her husband is a doctor. Uh, she's got two son, sons. They are still together. Yeah. Uh, they got two sons. 
Um, she began her career in 1979, just after her school, as a brand manager at Procter and Gamble. Um, I wanted to say that this company is really popular as well, and I, I, I was just fascinated as a, um, like a really, really new person in business. She started in, in such a strong and popular company. She was not afraid. And maybe it was brand manager, it was not like CEO at the beginning, but still it was like a good position for her. She must be really, really strong. Uh, I guess I, I read one story that happened many years ago when she was one, just part of managing teams or something. And she was not afraid to stand by and tell her own opinion to the owner of the company. Uh, and that's, uh, that was the reason why people started to like her and started to remember her name and everything about her. Uh, she was, later she had another job, she didn't stay there for, she stayed there like for four or five years and she switched the jobs and later she became a vice president of strategic planning at Walt Disney and she stayed there for a while. Uh, that's, um, what I can say about her management style, that was difficult to find as well because she, all the time she's pointing that she's a woman and she's trying to put that into the, her leadership and into her work. Um, and she's proud of it, proud of it. Uh, so I didn't really find that she's authoritative, authoritative manager, but I have to say that she must be authoritative because she's really strong and she expects that the uh, things what she's letting people do, that those things are gonna be done. Um, she's really clever and uh, yeah, that I found about her that she is uh, can do leader image. She's got can do leader image. What it's in these days, I guess, something what the companies are looking for. Uh, she's got really good communication skills. You can watch this video when she's talking about her leadership, and um, you will be really impressed by her uh, confidence. And she's really she seems to be really nice. Uh, she's trying all the time. She's trying to build the relationships in the companies when she's managing, and um, she uh, always try to listen what people are saying, and she's not afraid of criticism of her job and stuff like that because she knows that those things can um, can make me step forward for her. Uh, okay, now we can watch. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Uh, it's gonna be just one minute, it's not very long. Okay. Yeah, we all right with yeah. You might want to just hit escape and then Oh, you don't see it. I see it. <laughs> How to change it? But it doesn't work. I think it's on this computer. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like uh, pre stop it. The video? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, pre press escape. Escape. No? No, sorry. Uh, refresh it. You might have to refresh. Reduce it and then refresh. My gosh, I'm an ID. Uh, yeah. Can you you know how to refresh, right? You. No. <laughs> uh, you see oh. it up there, the the Is arrow that the, no no the.
And you know what I also was over... supposed to be a picture, I don't know what I'm doing. I was like I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about as a woman how I would manage different didn't spend a lot of time thinking about, as a woman, how I would manage differently. I was just happy to be me. I was watching you just I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about coming here. Mm -hmm. It's funny. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. Most of my friends who have been in medicine or law or the environment or politics Almost all of them played team sports, and I think that has made a huge, huge difference to my generation of women. Make. Title I guess maybe I prefer the word pioneer, you know, change agent, expanding of, of you know, worldviews of what you can do. But I think we're all very grateful for having been born when we were born, because we had opportunities that my mother's generation didn't have, my grandmother's generation certainly didn't have. All that is, is I think, wrapped up in feminism. And, um, you know, I think it's been good for America. I think it's been good for the world. You know, when we get discouraged, just have to glance around to other parts of the world and feel pretty lucky that we have the opportunities that we have in America. My story is only possible in America. Yeah. And in some ways it was a blessing because I didn't second guess myself. I just had to. Yeah. I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about as a woman how I would manage differently. I was just happy to be managing. And in some ways it was a blessing because I didn't second guess myself. I didn't add that factor into my leadership style. I was just focused on how can I lead this young company the most effective way I can. And you know what I also, over my career, finally thought about is, listen, there's lots of things I can change, but my gender isn't one of them. And so it is kind of what it is. And I just have to lead according to my personality, 
according to what I think is necessary in any given set of circumstances. I happened to get a job at P&G, and uh, something bigger. At the time when she came into the eBay, it was a really small company, there were 30 people inside and she started to manage them. Uh, she did a good job, for sure. Thanks to eBay she became absolutely rich uh, and uh, she stayed there for 10 years. At the time she was uh, leaving, uh, eBay had more than 15,000 employees and you can see how they raised their finances from 86 million per year to 7.7 .7 billion per year. eBay became really popular. Uh, she personally said that she realized that eBay is really successful, that people started to use eBay as a verb. And that, that, that was really, really nice of that. Good step. Um, yeah, she received many, many awards and uh, uh, accolades for her job, but she did that. Uh, as last thing, I, I put the purchase of Skype because I really don't know how to, um, what to think about it. Uh, Skype, um, she bought a Skype in uh, 2005 uh, because she saw that um, communication through internet is going to become much more um, it's going to become super big business, so that's why she bought it, and she bought it for five um, billion dollars, really big amount of money. Later she left, and eBay uh, sold the part of Skype to another company, to investors, for 2.6 billion. What was kind of a loss for them, but at the end, after some years, they sold everything to Microsoft for 8.8. .8. So I wouldn't say that was her mistake, because maybe Sky needed just more time to become more successful. Uh, but she was criticized for that. But after all, I think that it turned into the good situation. Um, she left company in 2007, in November 2007, but she stayed with company as um, outdoor resource or something like that. Uh, during whole year. Um, after that, she um, she started to she started her political career. But before that, I would like to speak about Hewitt Packard. Um, she came to Hewitt Packard in nine, in twenty eleven, and uh, after nine months, she became a CEO. What was pretty pretty fast. Uh, this company at that time was in a uh, big trouble and she, I guess the company is still in some kind of trouble but she's trying to resolve whole problems. She said that maybe in two years uh, the company will be in a good numbers, in black numbers. So there is still a lot of things to do. Uh, but still uh, from the time she came she did a good job. She uh, raised the finances into the HP uh, and she's re reinventing HP. Oh, sorry, so sorry, it's so okay. sorry. It is my friends had a big trouble with bleeding stuff. Blah, blah. Not interesting, so sorry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, she decided to div divide HP, what is currently becoming true. Uh, yeah, she said that the company strategy is only good. Uh, is only as good as its current leaders and uh, I'm really curious what's going to happen with HP under her leadership but I guess, I can guess that it's not going to be a bad thing um, 
between her career in eBay and Hewitt Packard, there is a gap of three or four years. And in that gap, uh, she's, she was trying to become a government uh, in Canada. No, oh, Canada, California, California, <laughs> governor of California. Uh, unfortunately, she lost. Um, she, but anyway, she, she did a good job. Uh, she won against somebody, but later she, yeah, even before that, she was still political uh, active, even during her previous jobs. But after eBay, she, she was thinking about her political career more prestigious, and um, that's why she tried to become a gover governor, but it didn't happen. Even she won the Republican primary in 2010, but lost to the Democrat Jerry Brown. And those kind of things are not so close to me because I'm not really looking to California political station, station and statement. Usually I know just what's going on in Holy USA. So uh, I cannot really describe this, this slide properly, but uh, I can I, I would say that uh, or I should say that many people think that she's going to be the first female female American president. Well, you know nobody knows if it's going to happen or not. She's strong enough for that, but there is a lot of competitive in this field. Um, she is very popular, and that's why people remember what she said, and she said many things. Uh, for example, run to the fire, don't hide from it. This is something that can characterize, characterize her. She uh, usually um, go to the company, or when she's managing, she's not afraid to take really risky steps. As for example, buying Skype, or going from Disney pictures to small, dirty people company like eBay was at that time. Or going to Hewitt Packard, which is in big travel. I guess she is looking forward, forward, and she's looking for those uh, challenges for her, and she can prove to herself that she is good enough to to raise finances in those kind of companies. Uh, she is really logical thinking and uh, very strict to herself. Uh, what about her free time? She's fitness enthusiastic, but. I, did, I didn't really know and I didn't expect that from the pictures that I saw. But yes, every morning she woke up really early and works out. Uh, she likes fishing and traveling and skiing and horses. She's super rich thanks to eBay and um, she's got two sons, how I already mentioned. And I don't think so, she's got a lot of free time. So that's maybe all her activities. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Yes. I'm looking for Okay, can you turn on the light, please? Okay, so can you go back to the slide a little bit there? Okay, no. no, no, no. With the, with the, the cartoon? The cartoon? The, the pop-ups. Pop-ups? Almost the third last one. Third last one? Yeah. Then it will be a good session. Okay. Oh. I oppose gay marriage. People love that, right? Is she kidding or? I oppose gay marriage. People love it, right? Is she, did she say that? She said that, for sure. But I don't know. I guess it was during her political time, so I'm not sure if she was right or not. Maybe, yeah. She was conservative. Okay. So why did you choose her as your icon? Because she's famous and she's popular and she ran really successful companies okay. and there is many things about her on, online so do you want to you know use her like as a mentor would you like to I, if i can work for her it would be awesome mm -hmm. at hewitt packard yeah. okay. i'm not sure if hewitt packard is something that i want to do but for example if she's still in ebay i would like to join her it might be really interesting mm -hmm. So as I mentioned that she's, these days she's going to be um, uh, challenged. Yeah, there, yeah. 
the, the news media is, is looking at her closely mm -hmm. now because, as I mentioned yesterday, her plan is to break up Hewlett Packard into two yes. separate companies. Yes, do you think that's a, a good idea? Yes, in my opinion, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I think that companies are supposed to focus on one thing and that's why the companies are so good. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I don't know, um, Facebook is focusing just on Facebook, you know, on those, that social part. They are not making new PCs or computers or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's why they are so popular. And they are just reinnovating their old product. So I guess this is a really good idea. So they're going to stop making computers now? or? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. This is something I'm not sure. Are there any, like, Slovakian women similar to her? Do you have, like, a, a kind of a successful woman in Slovakia? In business? Too? Similar to her? Um. Not so successful for sure. Mm -hmm. There is, yeah, there is few women who are really successful. Um, I forgot the name of her, but uh, she's running the company which sells uh, flight tickets. Uh, you know, like it's like division of many companies, and she's selling their tickets, and they are really good. They, they are doing very well, mm -hmm. and she, she's one of the founders, and right now she's managing, she's CEO. So yeah, the, I'm sure that you know, it's always women are women are always in minority in those kind of fields. Mm -hmm. So there is there are a few of them. Amazing. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome.